Hello, I'm Bradley, and welcome to my channel. Thank you for clicking that button. Thank you for being here. First things first, if you're new, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it would really help me in where I'm trying to get my channel to be. Okay, so here in the UK, it is Mother's Day, and I absolutely love Mother's Day, as well as Father's Day. I love just taking the time, celebrating my parents, my dear Nan, who I no longer have. It's been ups and downs, did I have to admit, where in the latter part of the afternoon, I've just prepared, hopefully, everybody will admit, <laughs> everybody will agree. I prepared a lovely dinner. We all sat down um, for mum and it was really, really lovely um, to do that. And me and my brother took my mum out for dinner yesterday as well. So it's been a really nice, long drawn out weekend. Um, all of the family we've seen, I've seen my nieces, which has been really, really lovely. Um, I see my sister-in-law, my brothers, all of us together. It's been really, really nice. Um, and you know what, strangely enough, the noise what you've just seen is my niece and nephew just popped up on a, on a reminder picture. So it's been really, really lovely this weekend to see everybody, which is really nice. Um, and then yesterday I took some time and, which is, I do very often, um, my nan is my absolute world. Um, and I went to the crematorium where she is and I have a, um, a memorial bench for my nan and I've got it absolutely dressed in flowers and I do that all the time. So I took her Mother's Day flowers um, and done that with my mum and my, uh, my eldest brother. So Mother's Day, as I say, absolutely love Mother's Day and a very, very happy Mother's Day to every single mum, grandmother, aunt, somebody like a mum to you, you name it. If they stand in that light and they shine, then celebrate them on Mother's Day and always. I always think to myself that, you know what, never ever leave it for just one day a year. Try and spoil that person. It doesn't always have to be expensive. And I say spoil, that can mean by opening your heart and that can by just giving time, just giving your time for that person, the person who means the world to you. Perhaps they're always doing something for you. Perhaps they've never got too much time for themselves. Or perhaps think, when was the last time you actually asked this incredible figure in your life, whether it be a mum, whether it be a stepmom, whether it be a grandmother, whether it be an aunt, when was the last time you asked them a question, if they were okay, or what were they doing today, or how are you feeling? Do you know what, sometimes just the smallest of things of just taking out of your normal day-to-day -day routine can make a world of difference. And that thought, that love, that care will always mean anything more than what some gift will come and go and pass. Of course, it's really, really lovely to show um, how much a person means. And I like to think that we can do that throughout the year as well. Mother's Day, I absolutely love because it's just the, the stores are all full of flowers. And of course, that whole um, vibe of Mother's Day. And I absolutely love that. I mean, I actually had to go to the store this morning. And I have never seen so many shades of pink flowers in all my life. The whole front of the store was absolutely crammed. An incredible smell. And you could just see all these dads with their little ones um, getting stuff. And I thought, you've left it to the last minute it's Mother's Day now. Um, <laughs> so, but it was, and that's been like that for the last couple of days here in the UK as well. Um, but yeah, it's just really, really nice. As I understand it's not always, it's not always a day which people can celebrate. I know there's a lot of heartbreak, especially people who have lost their mum. I know for my mum this morning, um, and I could just tell because my mum and my nan were so, so close. And my nan is um, a person who I talk about a lot on my channel and is my absolute world. So I was absolutely blessed in this life to have my incredible mum. And then, as I say, my incredible second mum, which is my nan. Um, and I call her that because she literally is like a second mum to me. Um, and as I say, I've been blessed in this life to have almost like three parents at the table, my mum and my dad, who I absolutely love and adore and incredible. And I've been blessed to have my nan, who I'm so, so close I'm um, close, was close. I lost my nan on the 31st of May, 2021. And you know, still to this day, I have very difficult times. Um, but you know, what? I try to talk about her all the time. I really do. Um, and she lives on, her spirit lives on and she's up, up above with the Lord above. And um, I like to think that she looks down on us all and, um, and she smiles. I really would like to think that. My mum um, is, is an absolute best friend of mine. We are so, so close. We do absolutely everything together. To be honest, we've traveled the world as well. We've been to so many exotic places and family holidays and one thing or another with mum and dad. And I've even been places just with me and mum. And that's been really, really cool. And to have that bond as well as, yes, it's incredible to have such an amazing mum, but it's also great to be able to have an incredible friend as well. And I'm blessed because my father is equally as a best friend to me too. And I can go to them and talk to them about everything. And I am so, so privileged and so, so proud to be able to say that because I know so much in this life. I mean, there's been horrific stories in this past year here in the UK that all these 
awful things have happened and we've heard about them, but yet when you actually look into it or you hear about it a bit more, it comes to play that there's there's been a parent or something involved. I mean, it's just really, it's absolutely horrific and heartbreaking in this world. And taking it away from the extremities of that, I absolutely appreciate that not everybody has an amazing relationship with their parents. And you know, that's okay. Um, sometimes some people try and try and try. And, um, and, and yeah, unfortunately, that that relationship gift, that blessing just isn't there to, to shine. And, and my heart goes goes out to people in that scenario because it is really hard. Um, I know throughout my life, I mean, I'm 29 now, um, and I've had a lot of health issues up and down, and I've had a lot of difficulties. Um, but I help everybody in my family. Um, and if I can help and give back to my parents, and I always try to do that. I'm always trying to spoil them and treat them in one thing or another. And... Um, but they have been, I will always be in a great debt to them because they have got me through some of the darkest of times. I mean, when I lost Nan, when we all lost Nan, um, and through my health issues and operation after operation for my groin surgery, um, I had the wrong mesh uh, used, which for the last six years has absolutely, to be honest with you, destroyed a lot of parts of my life, to be quite honest with you. Um, to the day, I'm still struggling with that, and I struggle with vertical on a, di on a, on a on an off basis, and um, which is a long-standing issue as well. And my parents are always there. They're always there. And just that anything and everything, uh, and it's... I'm just speechless. Sometimes I look at them and I think to myself, wow, you're my parents. I get to call you my parents. And, um, and, and you know what? I always, I'm always trying to think, even on the most difficult days or sort of if you're feeling a bit down, or you're feeling a bit low, I often look at my family and I think, do you know what? Yeah, it's a pretty down day, but actually there's people in this world who don't have their parents. There's people in this world who have no one. And I'm blessed with all these amazing people around me. Yes, I haven't got my nan anymore, but you know what? I was blessed with a very, very long life. It was, you know, if she would have lived to 200, it would have been far too soon um, and too early for me. But I try, I I am grateful. I tried to think that I had my nan for, and she was very, very, just several days, we were celebrating her 95th birthday. So my heart, she was in her 95th year at peace now. Um, the nan was forever, always young. Always, always young. Very, very glamorous lady. My mum, very, very glamorous lady. To be honest, you think they were, in their ways, they were much more, they were always best friends. And you know what? Um, when it came to Mother's Day, it was always very much like I used to, very often, um, I used to be at Nans at the weekend, so I would be there. Um, and, I, and I would wake up and I would give Nans gifts and we'd have a really lovely time. And then a little bit later, I'd come home and I'd see mum and we'd usually have dinner and everything. And we'd have this, in, this incredible time with both my nan and my mum, and um, yeah, just just lovely. And I have a lovely, lovely auntie as well, who I absolutely love and adore. Which is funny enough, my mum's sister and my and my nan's daughter. And um, and yeah, what a blessing! Such a, a lovely, lovely uh, lady and a, a lovely auntie who I absolutely love and adore as well. I do have another grandmother who um, I'm not particularly very close to, but I do love her. Of course, absolutely, I do. Um, and. Where I think I grew up with my nan, um, that bond is always there. Where as my other grandmother, um, it's it's a it's a different, it's a kind of a different relationship. I love and adore her absolutely, and I spot her a gift for Mother's Day today, and I've spoken to her. Um, but it's just it's it's different. I mean, my my nan was my best friend, is my best friend now, and I will always hold that, as is my mum and as is my dad. Um, my grandmother, I love and adore, as my grandmother. And, um, and yeah, sometimes I wish it would be a more of a magical relationship, but, um, yeah, yeah. So I, I get snippets of what some people, um, how some people feel on the Mother's Day. I really, really do. I mean, Mother's Day is such a, a wonderful time to be able to, I say spoil, but you know what? Just taking the time to reminisce. We done that actually by enough yesterday in the evening after a really lovely meal we'd been out and we had, um, we, uh, it was really nice. We had some drinks in the evening, um, in our family lounge and, um, my mum and my dad and I, and my brother and, um, my sister-in-law were there and my brother and, um, the two nieces, my nephew wasn't actually there. And we were reminiscing and talking about things. And I love that. I love when we're all together. Um, and it's nice that it always happens around those times like Christmas, Easter, Mother's Day, Father's Day, family holidays. Um, love all of that. So really, really looking forward to the summer. But 
do you know what? It's just, it, it doesn't have to be expensive. It doesn't have to. Just taking the time out, just to make a moment, just, do you know what I mean? Make a special treasured moment. Do you know what I mean? Make, make, make this incredible figure in your life, your mum or your aunt or, or whoever that is, your grandmother or somebody who you look up to as a mum. Um, doing something small, even taking the time out, do you know what, buying a really nice cake, having a cup of tea or a cup of coffee, and then just putting the afternoon aside to just chat and to just laugh and to just natter. It doesn't have to be Mother's Day. Do you know what I mean? How expensive is that? Not very at all. Of course, if you can spoil that loved one, of course, absolutely, and that's amazing to be able to do that. But do you know what, sometimes even just the smallest of thing can be more valued and sometimes more appreciative than actually the huger things on the huger scale, they really, really can, because the small things, somebody's time is so, so precious, and if somebody chooses to spend that with you, life is so, so hectic, I find, and as I'm 29 now, I know, oh my god, I'm not crazily old at all, but as, I think the difference is as you, as you grow up with that life experience, you come to value people in your life much, much more, and then when they're not there, i.e. my nan, your heart breaks, so in a way, that life experience teaches us to appreciate, it teaches us to love, it teaches us to take time, slow everything down. I love a saying which is, uh, stop and smell the roses, they're actually really beautiful. And you know what? I love that because it actually teaches us that we may pass something every day. So you may see your mom or your nan or your aunt every single day. How often do you take the time to have a conversation and to really share a special moment? Probably not as often as what you would like or what you'd like to think. Um, and we do take those things for granted. And it's most people say things in the heat of the moment when you've had a crossword or one thing or another. Or, for example, they were wrapped up in their careers or life takes us in so many different places. If you're sat there thinking, well, actually, I haven't actually spoken to my mum or my aunt or my nan or, or one of these incredible figures. I haven't actually spent that much time with them lately. Do you know what? Mother's Day is a reminder that actually these special characters in your life, it comes down to it. That life is so, so precious. It really, really is. And I always like to think that actually if you want to say something to someone or if you want to tell somebody that you love them, you tell them. Because not just for your loved ones, but for you, nobody knows what's in store for them. And I know it's a bit of a solemn way to think, but I do think this actually, that life is such a gift and it is such a blessing. And if you're in a difficult time now, it will pass, my friend. But however, your mum, your nan, your grandmother, your godmother even, your aunt, they're a constant when you're angry, sad, down. They are a constant. They're never ever going away. Have you always shown gratitude? Have you always shown love? I try to remind myself, and I try to, every single day, I always, always try to be the best version of myself, and I try to always be loving, caring, and understanding to those special figures in my life. My mum, I worship the ground she walks on with best friends. My father, exactly the same. My nan, exactly the same. I love spending time having chats with my aunt. I love spending time talking on the phone to my grandmother. My other, my other grandmother, that is. Um, and yeah, do you know what I mean? Mother's Day, it is a special time. Father's Day, it is a special time. It's, but then again, it's that reminder that, you know what? We had such an amazing time today. Let's, let's keep on doing that. Do you know what I mean? Let's just keep that rolling. You don't have to have one day out of the year to make this incredible figure in your life and tell, to tell them, do you know what? You mean this to me. I try to show that in the things I do and how I talk to my parents and how I support them and how so many different things, so many different things. Sometimes we all, of course, get a little bit annoyed with things in life, and sometimes, sadly, unfortunately, we take it out on the closest and people who who are, such as our parents to us. And, um, you know, I'm not perfect. I'm not sitting here saying I'm perfect. Sometimes, yes, of course, sometimes we snap. Sometimes I'm frustrated with my own health problems and things, and I snap at the people I love most. But do you know what? I think as long as we acknowledge that, and we actually say, do you know what, Mum? Or do you know what, Dad? I was a bit sharp earlier, and do you know, I'm, I'm really struggling manage this at the moment and that's the reason why it doesn't make it right don't make it right but it gives it, it gives an understanding and it gives you've opened that door again you've not shut them out they're there that love that support that unconditional support is there they're right there with you and my parents are always right there with me 
And I know some people haven't got that. And I know I'm truly blessed for that. But you know what, my friend, my subscriber, whoever is watching this, parents are a gift. Grandparents are a gift. Family is a gift and a blessing. I think if I could get one thing across in this clip, that would be, do you know what? Slow life down for yourself. Don't always be going like at 150 miles an hour throughout life and then actually thinking, no, I'll do this next week with mum or I'll do this next week with dad or I won't this time, do it next time. Do it now. Make time, do it now. If they're not local to you, pick up the phone. Don't keep putting it off. You're thinking, well, we're really, really close. We're really, really close. Do you know what? You probably could be closer. You probably could be closer or capture a special moment. Perhaps you are really, really close. Perhaps you are. You may even need to give your parents a bit of a break. Why not spoil them? Okay, thank you very, very much for being here. As you can tell, Mother's Day for me, Father's Day, is an incredible, incredible time. I absolutely love it. I love all of these times of the year. Um, and they are a true blessing. And family, parents, mums, dads, grandparents, nannies, granddads, aunts, they are a true blessing. Tell them. If you've got a blessing in your life, tell them, acknowledge it, love them, hug them. Thanks very much for sharing that with me. A very, very happy Mother's Day to everybody's mum, everybody's aunt, everybody's nan, everybody's godmum, and their special, special figures in their life. Thanks very much for being here. And until next time, enjoy the rest of Mother's Day. And if you're watching this and Mother's Day is past, then do you know what? Find whoever's special for you in your life, parents, grandparents, whoever, and let them know that they're special. Let them know what they mean to you. Bye for now. God bless. Take great care. I'll be seeing you real soon.